Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Anth. Today's topic is family trees and genes. Many of us have a great interest in finding out more about our ancestry. Who are our ancestors? Where are we from? The traditional way of doing this is to create a family tree. Talk to your older relatives, search public documents. Doing this public document search has been difficult in the past, but now there are many online sources that make this easier. Another technique that has come around recently that seems more scientific is an analysis of your DNA. You spit in a tube, send the tube off to a company, and in a month or so they will return an analysis of your DNA. There is just one problem, and it is a big one. It will give you only a tiny picture of your ancestry. You can actually learn more about your ancestors from a good family tree. The reason for this is that only a small portion of your genetic variability gets passed from generation to generation. From your father, you receive only 50% of his DNA. From your mother, you receive only 50% of her DNA. And each of your parents received only 50% of DNA from their parents, which means that you would get at most 25% of the DNA from each of your grandparents. And so it goes generation by generation. In not too many generations, you would receive little or no DNA from those ancestors. The next image shows one of the chromosomes of your 23 pairs of chromosomes. Genetics is obviously more complicated than this image but you still are going to inherit only a tiny portion of DNA from one generation to the next. Eight generations is only back to the 1840s. There are photos from the 1840s. Your family could have photos of your ancestors from the 1840s, and yet you would have little or no DNA from those ancestors. In addition, only a small portion of your DNA is useful for determining ethnicity. There are certain traits that can be used as ethnic markers. However, not every group has a large number of traits that they can look at, and not all groups have a sufficiently large population in the databases of all the companies for there to be a good genetic analysis of these markers. And on top of that, you may have an ancestor who did have a good genetic marker and you did not inherit that trait from that ancestor. Five generations are shown in the next photo. Did the baby inherit all the genetic variability from each of those other generations? No. In fact, from the great-great-grandmother, she inherited at most 6.25%. DNA analysis can be fun, but you do need to remember that it does not give you as much information as you might wish. That's it for today. Please subscribe to my channel.